Hey guys, welcome back to Brian's Farming Videos. Don't forget to thumbs up that video and subscribe to the channel if you're not. And hit that notification bell so you know when we upload. Good morning. I slept eight hours, I feel like a brand new man. Uh, this morning, first thing we got to do, the super top secret strip till bar is leaving. We're done with it. It is going back to the engineering team from the unsaid company. And they're going to check it out, make sure everything looks good on it after we ran it. And uh, see if there's any updates they need to make to it. Holy! This is what happens when you let BJ run a tractor. I'm kidding. He basically lived in here for a week. Definitely needs cleaned out though. Oh my god, he ruined my carpet. I'm not sure if he was holding on to this, but it's gone. And that. I don't know if he knows there's a toolbox in this tractor. Like, you don't have to have the tools in the cat. We gotta take this tractor over to the grain bins, the strip till bars over there, and we gotta use it to load it onto their trailer. Apparently, it was a little bit muddy where BJ was last night when he popped the tire on the Turbo Max. It actually rained where he was. We didn't get any rain yesterday where we were planting. So. Must have got a little tacky. A little tacky. Here's the neighbor rig. We are on our way to the bean planter now. We've got the strip till bar hooked up, just waiting on the company to come get it. But we gotta see if we can get this thing to fold. I mean, one thing about it, we do have 30 acres right here that we can do without folding, but after that, it's gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a challenge. All right, little update. The strip till bar is gone, had to go load it up, but when BJ and I were over here messing with this, BJ uh, unknowingly drained all the nitrogen out of this. There's nitrogen in here. That's what pushes that pin down to lock it. Um, and he drained it. So I've got to take this pin now, got to unbolt it, take it to the case store so they can recharge it. Uh, I mean, he didn't mean to. I didn't know that's what it did. Uh, the tech happened to call me back right as he was doing it. And I mentioned it to him. He said, oh, no. So that's, uh, eh. Alright, here's our piece. Finally got it out of there. Ended up having to crack that line to get pressure off of it. That's our locking pin. Goes down there and locks it. Thing would not pull out. But, uh, um, if nothing else, I can fold it like this to get it to the shed later. I want to plant that field. But first, I'm going to go get this recharged. It's supposed to rain here in about six hours. I want to go get this charged before case door closes that way after we get it charged we can keep planting so this, this is what you call a parts run date I haven't been home much this week so this is how you hang out with your family go on parts run hey gang yesterday we were coming home from the field and blew a tire on the turbo max um, on the county road adjacent to where we live at it's just a world beater of a day I tell you One tire that is good. And you know, the one that I've got to change, <laughs> rim and all, it's on the inside of the machine, so that should just be amazingly fun. In the middle of the field, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm gonna make this up as I go. Dad told me to uh, drop the implement and get the carrier off the ground see if that does anything for us so yeah here we are all right still got the rim off now the problem becomes how do I get enough clearance how, for one how do I get the new wheel and tire in there like physically in there it's just me dad's out planting corn Brian's on a parts run for 
another piece of equipment uh, so the inside wheel has to get through the frame and yikes I do have a bottle jack so I think maybe if I can find a block of wood to set it on maybe I'll put a bottle jack underneath this mechanism here that the, the carriers on and hopefully bring it up a little bit and I've got a shovel that ground's pretty soft. I might be able to dig out in there. I don't know. Either way, I have a feeling getting that rim off. Pretty, isn't it? It's going to be a whole lot easier than getting that rim and wheel on. All right, so plan A did not exactly work out. Brian is back from his parts run. So, back to the drawing board. Well, BJ drafted me to help him fix his, uh, his piece real quick. So... We gotta get that on that. Why is this one so? I don't know. You would think it had all the weight on it. It'd be leaning this way, right? Well, we might have screwed up. We got to dig that out quite a ways. We weren't thinking or we'd have dug a hole and then drove up to the hole and threw the tire to it, but we didn't. Well, we made the problem worse. That's an oscillating uh, duel. All the weight went to the ground and now our hub's buried. Pretty frickin' far. Now we're gonna unfold. <laughs> We're going to try to unfold it and see if that'll help our situation. And on a side note, at least it's raining. <sighs> but at least we got a nice backup rim. It's in pretty good shape. I love what he done with it. I mean, things are getting interesting. All right, we at least got the tire back to where we can get to the wheel. Got it back up in there. Compliment to the backhoe. And now we have to dig a hole. Okay, so now our axle is still tilted. That axle oscillates like this. So we're gonna put the chain on it, try to pull up the side that we need to put the tire on to get it back to level. The angle it's at now, we cannot get a tire under it. It's gonna hit this frame right here. So we gotta try to pop that back to level. In a recent turn of events, BJ just bag tagged himself with a logging chain. It's no secret that right now BJ and I are very frustrated. But stuff like that, it's always funny. Now we're gonna hoist that tire out of there. I'm gonna go over and dig a hole directly in front of where this axle is, and we're gonna drive up to that hole, drop the tire into the hole. Because the way that that angle, like it's just it's going to be almost impossible to get this tire on any other way, I think. Uh-oh. That's it! Got it! This isn't going to work unless we dig a hole. You can see here what we've got to work around. I mean, I still think it has to go in here and we have to slide it over into the hole. It ain't going to be fun. We're gonna dig a big hole right there. Now you may be wondering, Brian, you're the younger brother. Why are you the one running the backhoe? BJ's not certified. Yeah, I can hear huh? You can hear oh, you can hear that? Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'm not certified. Maybe I'm not certified either. Alright, let's see if we can't tear something up. Hey, for the record, we've already put this tire on and we've taken it back off. This is all just staged for you guys' benefit. Did you see the camera jump? Holy crap! That's where he's gonna put me! I was trying to get in with drag me into this crap.
Next thing he's going to hit the tire on the twin 38. Pop a duel. It's fantastic. Rumor is dad's on his way down here, so we got to get this done quickly because if you think it's been rough to this point, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. If he hits oil, we're going to be like the Beverly Hillbillies. Can he say that? <laughs> That's where you guys are leaving me tonight. Pull up, pick it up a little bit. And now BJ's going to drive over top of our hole. You make it? Bullseye. I mean. Nope. Hold that. I'll put it somewhere. This side of the tarp. Down! There you go. Yeah, you gotta pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up. Oh, there is no help tear things up. Hold on. All right, we got it. Uh, we got it good enough to get home. A couple lug nuts that were stripped out, but it's about to rain. Whew. Now we go to the planter. My problem is it's six o'clock. I planted almost 400 acres with that fent in one day. I've planted 40 the last two days since it left. Good times. All right, one thing we're gonna do, we've got that pin out of the planter. We're just gonna make sure that it, it does move before we put it back in, install it back in the planter. Well, it's working. I guess now we need to put it back in and plant that field. All right, right, I think right now the plan is BJ's gonna eat some dinner, work on a wheelbarrow, work on a bearing that goes on the back of the Turbo Max. I'm gonna fill up the planter and start on this 28 acres. And then he's gonna come down and run the planter this evening. And I'm gonna catch up on some sleep and eat some real food. But first, we fill. All right, back in the tractor. All right, getting her primed, and then we're going to be good to go. Got the planter up. I'm not even going to get a plant. Baby quackers. And, honkers. And honkers. They taste delicious. Hey, go out there and strangle some dinner. Oh, they're leaving. They're scared. They don't want none. Actually, they might start falling along behind. <laughs> yeah, they might start eating. <laughs> like, we're, we're feeding them. Oh, there goes the ducks. Boom! 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 All right, got to move some trucks around. Brother is going to finish planting this field. He, um, I got to bring him back down to the down to get his. To, got to uh, bring him back down to the field. That way, he doesn't have to you know, walk back to get his pickup or leave the tractor out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go eat some dinner. Uh, what will he break next? I'm kidding. I don't think he'll break anything. 